and welcome to the Crystal Stairs Resource Library Learning Activity. So Ms. Lupe is back. Welcome back. Hi, Ms. Tantra. So we're actually going to share, I'm going to walk her through it as I walk you to it. So mm -hmm. before we do that, I just wanted to um, let you all know that this month's story um, we're reading, it looked like spilt milk. And we just wanted to use this to start a conversation about illusions and intrigue and wonder and really just how to continue fostering that sense of wonder with the children that you are with every day. So Miss Lupe shared, um, it was kind of a little scary, um, something on the reading video. So when you get a chance to watch that, I encourage you to watch that. Um, I asked her, have you ever seen something that looked like something else? And we just left some space for the children to, to talk about it. And, and so um, now I want to share this activity with you that I think is a little play off of, of the book. All right, so first thing we need is a sheet of paper. So go ahead and grab a sheet of paper. I'll grab this one. So um, you can use whatever color paper you have. I think construction paper works really good for this. Um, but I wanted to kind of mirror the story. So mm -hmm. it looked like spilt milk, but it was actually a cloud in the sky. So I have blue paper, I have white paint. I didn't have yarn, so I just have some pipe cleaners. So let's go ahead and try it out. So the first thing you want to do is fold your paper in half. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put mine this way. You want to grab a pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and you're going to just put a little dot of white paint like in the center. Okay. So I'll show you and then I'll let you do your, maybe shake it up a little bit. And it doesn't take a lot of paint for this activity. I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. All right, and then here's where the magic happens. You're gonna take your yarn, if you're using yarn, or your pipe cleaner, and you're going to put it on the crease. And I'm gonna put mine up a little bit like this because you're gonna pull it through. So let me show you without the paint. So you're going to fold the paper back over, mm -hmm. and you're gonna use your yarn or your pipe cleaner and then when you open it, it's gonna be something. Oh, okay. wow. So, so let, let's, let's try it and see. So you're gonna close, close it and just pull it through. And this is why I covered my table um, because with children, the paint is gonna possibly come out even though we only use a little bit. And so, you could wiggle it around, right? Yes. In many ways. Yes. So. Hmm. Oh, look. <laughs> so let's see. Wow. So do you see? So we talked about illusion, intrigue, and wonder. And in this story, it's it looks like an ice cream cone, but it was actually something else. So you can use this to start a conversation with I'm gonna I'm gonna run mine through one more time. What does it look like? It looked like spilled milk. Yeah, mine says also. You need some more paint. <gasps> oh, oh that's so it looked <laughs> like spilled milk. It looked like a turkey. I I'm gonna say that. I think that looked like a turkey or a goose. So this is where the children's imagination so you get to decide. There's no right or wrong answer. Right. So do you think you see anything? And you can just keep playing around, add more paint. Yes. I think mine looks like, well, it's, it seems like someone is holding something together using both of their hands. Okay. So I like the idea that you shared with me earlier about how to ask the open-ended questions. Yes. Um, one of the greatest, you know, one of the greatest questions you could ask your children um, is actually tell me about your picture. Tell me about the picture. Describe what you see. And they should be able to tell you 
all of these wonderful uh, illusions. What is their perception? What, what does it look like? And also keep in mind that it adds vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So you're actually increasing the vocabulary words. So making sure also once you get those words, start writing them down because you're going to use them around the classroom and with the children. Those are great suggestions. Thank you for sharing that. Um, just a reminder, it doesn't always have to look like something. So mm -hmm. I, I like that. Rem just keeping it open-ended. Tell me about your painting. All right, so we hope you have a chance to try this activity. If you have a chance to share your experiences with us, please send the photos to tgardner at crystalstairs.org. Um, we thank you for joining us. Thank you, Miss Lupe, for coming to play thank again. Thank you, Chandra. <laughs> thank you so All much. Right. So um, it looked like spilled milk, but it was actually something else. So thank you, and we'll see you here again on the next First Friday. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.